Okay, what's up everybody? JJ Wilson here. Continuing on with the Gangsta Curse series. In this video, we will talk about chapter 14. In the chapter 13, the last chapter we left off with we left off with spies and fighting Maverick, the leader of the second destroyers, and he ended up killing her. That's right. For those that have not seen that, uh, definitely check out chapter 12 and 13 when he actually confronted Maverick. And uh, they had a, a big spat, and eventually they fought. Maverick ended up losing their life. So we pick up where we left off here from chapter 13. Striker and Beretta encountering spies laying over her body. And they're wondering what's going on and why he's in that position. The Striker and Beretta both questions like, hey, is that is that really her? Is that Maverick did? The spies is like, yes, it is. Striker suddenly decides to leave the scene already. Because he considered Maverick trash for getting killed so early in the game of the hunting game for the Twilight to their gas load. And this is where Spy stands up and tells him to wait. And he confesses like, it was me. I am the one that killed Maverick. And the looks on Beretta and Striker faces tell a thousand words. And Striker has to turn around and like, hold on. You mean to tell me you guys had a fight? You had a quarrel? I thought you guys were close. I thought you were tight. What happened? <laughs> what could have what could have led to this? You know. Then Spies tells him next, "I'm not going back to you guys. I'm not returning to the destroyers." And that's when Striker got upset. He was really pissed off. Yeah, you know, hey man, I, I'm not laughing at this. This isn't a game. This isn't funny. Just what are you trying to say? Please explain to me a way that I can understand. That's what Strike is telling Spies. And Spies finally explains to like, All this time that I've killed the Twilights. And I've seen that they're not who we, who we thought they were. They're not the monsters that I was taught to, to hate on. In fact, they're ordinary. Just like any old humans. Just like any of us. They're just ordinary people. Everybody's meant to be happy. They're not meant to suffer like this. So Striker, let me ask you this. Do you still think these Twilights are scum? Because I no longer can see them as such. And Striker's response is rather funny because he's, he thinks he's gone crazy. He's gone mad. And he's almost getting ready to punch this guy. But next thing you know, the mercenaries, more guys from the guild, from Gina Pockley's guild, they come in there, blindside attack Beretta, and she ends up getting cut on top of the shoulder. And so they kind of interrupted the little you know, tense moment between Striker and Spies. And Striker has to do with these guys for a little bit. Let's go Spies. And Spies decides to flee the scene. He's getting the hell out of Dodge. But he doesn't get very far because Striker quickly follows him. He leaves Beretta alone. And, and this time, Beretta holds her own. And dealing with the guild members, I mean, she, she put easy work on these guys. <laughs> And then she tells these guild members, like, you guys are really better now. And just when it was getting really good between those boys. You're not going to get a chance to play with spies, but we will. <laughs> and you see that big smile on her face. But yeah, the fight scenes between Striker and Spies really get heavy. I mean, it was a lot of great action between these guys. Because Striker ends up throwing them down the warehouse, you know, soon after. And uh, before we go down to the warehouse, we're going to pick up with a scene at the club Bastard. And inside the club we have Galahad carrying some wounded Twilights. And some of the workers inside Bastard, some of Cristiano's guys, they, they take the, the Twilights in. You know, they take them in as refugees. So it's a full house inside that club because there's so many people that suffer at the hands of the Hunters and the anti-Twilight faction. They're all housed in there. They're trying to stay away from harm and danger. And one of the guys tells Galahad that they found a family that may have actually seen the Hunters, you know, fight. And so he goes up to his family, he's asking them, which one of you guys saw the Hunters? And so the guy tells them about what they saw. And then they say, yeah, they were actually fighting against each other, which kind of took Galahad by surprise. And that's when Luca Cristiano comes in, the head of the Cristiano family. And he's questioning, like, are you sure that's what you saw? 
And then the, their child, a girl, she was fine. I was like, yeah, he was a boy. He was flying up in the air. And then the parents tell her to shut up because they don't want her to talk. And the guy's like, hey, that's okay. You don't really care. And that's when Luca finally asked this girl because he's interested in, in this particular individual, a spies, because he met him earlier. And he kind of figured, he kind of has an idea as to who this girl is talking about. And that's why he asked her, like, little miss, what does this boy look like? So that's the question he's asking her. And then the last few scenes in the chapter, the striker comes up to spies, grabs him up by the head. He's like, hey, have you woken up yet? Are you back to your senses? Spies are the second destroyers. But little distractor knows some debris coming from the warehouse was coming on down from him. And this could have been a trap set up by Spy beforehand. You know, tricking Striker. And he gets out of Dodge. And then there's Beretta coming in just seeing what's going on. And finally Striker uh and finally Spies tells Striker that yes, I have come to my senses. Spies of the second destroyers dies here today. So that was an epic line by Spies going into chapter 15. And so coming up for the next chapter, we're going to have a fight, and I believe this is the end of the fight between Nicholas Brown and Mini-Me, and then we'll get to see more of the confrontation between Spies and Striker, so definitely stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys for chapter 15. If you have anything to say on the video, please feel free to do so. Appreciate it.